Welcome to Faith in Five. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Mark Van Dellen. Have you ever watched a movie like a, for the hundredth time? And in that time, for the very first time, you see something you've never seen before. Or sometimes even like our path to work. We go home to work, home to work, home to work, home to work. And then the hundredth time we realize like, has that always been there? Sometimes new things show up, but they've always been there. Sometimes it's just a perspective shift. Sometimes we open our eyes to new things because we've done it so many times in that way. The weird thing about our faith is sometimes we, we grab a hold of it, we package it up, and then we do it the same over and over and over again. And if new things start to reveal ourselves, we shut them out. We reject it. And if somebody else happens to say, have you ever considered this? We shun them. That's not the intention of the Bible. I've actually seen people say, the Bible is clear. It has always been and it always will be. And there's some truth to that, but not all truth. The Bible was intended to be read, to be studied, to be interpreted, and applied to context. And over the course of all of history, it's always been that way. In fact, when Jesus showed up on the scene, he regularly said, hey, I know you've been doing it this way for that long, but that's not exactly what God meant by that. What if you did it this way? I'm here today as we talk about this revolution that Jesus came to live out. The thing that was so revolutionary about Jesus was he said, what if we did this a little different? You have been taking what God wrote in the Bible and applying it to things for so long, maybe in the wrong way. And Jesus said, come with me. Let's do this just a little different. That was revolutionary. So as we live out our lives, and we, we kind of ask ourselves in this faith journey, what does that mean? And obviously we want to not do the opposite of what God asks. We want to do the right thing. And I think that Paul gives us a really good picture of what it looks like to do this, to read the Bible, study it, interpret it, and then apply it. In 1 Corinthians, Paul says, even though I'm free of the demands and expectations of everyone, like I'm not doing it because somebody else wants me to or told me to, he said, I have voluntarily become a servant to any and all in order to reach a wide range of people. Remember, there's this distance between us and God. And Paul says, I wanted to reach people and draw them nearer to God. And in doing so, I went and I sought out people who were religious. I sought out people who were non-religious, even people who were immoral the defeated, the demoralized, no matter who it was, I went to them and I became like them. But he's careful to say, I didn't necessarily take on their way of life. What I did is I kept my bearing on Christ. I wanted to join the revolution. I wanted to bring other people along. He said, I entered into their world and I tried to experience things from their point of view. I've become just about every sort of servant there is in attempts to bring people closer to God. I did all this because of Jesus. I did all this because of the revolution. Because that's what it took to help people see. I, he said, I didn't want to just talk about it. I wanted to be in on it. And oftentimes when I talk to people about their faith, they're trying to figure out how to say the exact right thing and trying to figure out exactly what God wanted. They've seen the same movie a hundred times and their faith starts to feel kind of boring. Or maybe they start asking questions like, I'm not sure that that's actually, like my life experience doesn't match what I thought it said. The goal is to draw people nearer to God. The goal isn't to figure out what exactly is right, every sentence perfect. It's not changing God's message. It's actually picking up God's message, carrying it with us, and taking it where it needs to go. And if we take on this approach, the approach that Paul had. If you're feeling like all you're doing is talking about your faith, you're talking about what's right, what's wrong, who's in, who's out, Paul seems to suggest you're, you're not doing it right. It's a challenge for me as well. If you want to join this revolution, the Jesus revolution, and be on that path, the last thing to do is continue to hone this message 
Pick it up, carry it, take it with us, and be in on it. This week, as you live out your faith, look for those places that maybe you've always done it and see if that makes you come alive or if that includes other people and brings them along with you. This week, join the revolution. <laughs>